Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash and we're nearly done completing All Star Mode with all the characters in Super Smash Bros. Melee. We're nearly almost done here. We just have just a few more characters left to go. Next up on the line is Mewtwo. In the last video, we did Jigglypuff, so let's pick Mewtwo. Now, often I don't really play as Mewtwo too much in this game, but Mewtwo is pretty cool. He's always been a cool character in Super Smash Bros. series. Mewtwo is pretty awesome. I like him. Pretty powerful he is, too. He's like one of the most powerful Pokemon characters, I believe, too. Dang it, I was just about to finish him off with that. His taunt's pretty cool. He just spins around and he does his evil, sinister laugh since he is a villain in Pokemon, too. So it makes all good sense for him to do that kind of taunt because he is a villain. Pretty cool, huh? Mewtwo's great. You know, at least it's a good thing that in Melee and Brawl and Wii U and 3DS, you get the resting area where you can heal up if you need to heal yourself, you know what I mean? Because you do have, there is All-Star mode in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as well. Well, they didn't have it at first in Ultimate, but when they updated it, they decided to give the ability to have it. But the problem is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's All-Star mode, you don't get to heal up or everything. You literally have to actually beat the whole entire roster without healing and everything. It's almost like playing multi-man mode, you know what I'm saying? And that is hard. I don't even know what the total amount of characters I defeated was, but obviously I did it best with Ganondorf because he's my number one favorite character to play as, so... <laughs> How did Pichu not recover? Never mind. So it's really unfair in Ultimate because you just don't have any chance of recovering and being in a resting area like this right here. Oh, we're facing ourselves next. Me too. So it's really unfair in Ultimate. They really try to give you a real challenge in Ultimate version of All-Star mode, you know what I'm saying? But I can't seem to do it. I have to really know how to do very well with Ganondorf and Link to be able to pull it off, you know what I mean? Link actually used to be my number one favorite character to play as in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before Ganondorf. The reason he became my... No, I really was growing to love how to play as him and pull combos with him, and mainly it was because the most part from when I completed Classic Mode, he was actually the only character I was able to complete it with at the hardest difficulty level yet, so you know, I did it in one go, I had to keep repeating itself so many times, it was actually like two years ago in 2019 after I got the Switch for Christmas along with the game, I immediately played Classic Mode with Link, and you know, I tried to do it at the highest level difficulty yet to try to attempt to get up to the maximum level, level 9.9, .9, which is the hardest level yet, and you know, I eventually did it, it took me a number of attempts to do, just like I did on my buddy, my best, my good bud from high school, Alex's Switch, because I did it on his Switch originally, then I did it on my own Switch, and yeah, I even posted an Instagram post about it too, where I completed Classic Mode uh, with Link and, you know, did it at the highest difficulty level yet. I actually did remember posting a picture on Instagram about it. So, yeah, it was really difficult, but I did it pretty good, you know. And I didn't even use the coins to continue either, and neither did I even use a pass to continue either. I just did it in one go, I just kept doing it, like most professional players would probably do it, so I kind of did it professionally, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> Get away from that bomb. I, if I just stayed there any longer, I would have got killed. Come on, run into the bomb. I want Luigi to run into that bomb. Just hit him with that. <laughs> oh god, I almost didn't hang onto the ledge. That was close. Alright, Bowser and Zelda, odd pairing. These two actually teamed up before in, pre in a previous video where I... <laughs> one dash attack to kill Zelda, huh? That's actually how I did it with Bowser a couple times. I just did his dash attack and I killed him pretty quickly. I, apparently, I guess Mewtwo can do the same thing if you get lucky enough with him, huh? Alright, next is Dr. Mario, Link, and Peach. Now we're getting into the triple teams now. As we're now going to be facing three characters at once. Do his down smash. It's pretty cool that when you pick up items with Mewtwo, he doesn't even touch them with his hands. He doesn't even pick them up. He uses the force. He uses the force to, you know, grab the items. If you notice that, he doesn't he doesn't hold on to them at all. He's like using the force. Because he has, you know, you know, the telekinesis powers where he can move things without touching them, you know? See, like, see? He's not even touching the gun, you see that? 
How cool is that? Woo, watch out for the bomb. Please, Yoshi didn't get killed yet. But there he goes. <laughs> Got him with the bomb. Alright, who's next? Mario, Samus, and Marth. Okay. We're fighting on the Mario stage. The, this Rainbow... I think it's called Rainbow Cruise, this stage, I think. Let me get the box. Excellent shot. I, got, I thought I got Samus, but no, I got Marth. Marth sacrificed himself, and there goes Mario. Samus is almost dead. There's a good shot with the gun. Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh, he is dead. <laughs> she is dead. <laughs> she jumped the wrong way and just suicided off the stage. <laughs> ah, Samus. Samus, Samus, Samus. Samus Aaron. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Ganondorf, Ice Climbers, and Kirby. And then onto the Game and Watches. And we're on Ganon's stage. Brinister deaths with Kraid in the background, so... I kind of better be careful with this, because you know the stage likes to move around a lot. Because Kraid, Kraid moves the stage every once in a while, so, you know, it's going to move eventually. First, like so. But Ganondorf, a Fortune couldn't make it, so he's dead. And Kirby and Ice Climber, I killed them with the forward smash, so there you go. Now on to the Game & Watches. Let's finish this once and for all. Alright, come on. Now, I actually did on... Def now, when I unlocked Mr. Gaming Watch, I used Mewtwo to defeat him, so... Yeah, when I... Oh, come on! I wanted to grab the Mega Mushroom. So, when I unlocked Mr. Gaming Watch, I defeated him with, uh, with Mewtwo. Oh my god, that red shell almost killed me. Because, you know, basically, to, to unlock Mr. Game & Watch, you have to complete target tests with all the characters, you know, every single other character but Game & Watch, and once you do that, you'll get the ability to fight him and maybe unlock him. And Mewtwo was the last one I had to complete target tests with, so therefore I unlocked him with Mewtwo, and yeah. But anyway, that takes care of the Game & Watches, and here we are. Mewtwo is done, so let's see the trophy. Alright, he's in the red form, because his tail's red. Oh yeah, his up smash pose. That's pretty cool. Alright, next. The Pokey Floats theme song. Pretty cool. The same song that plays in the background of that one stage that I really want from Pokemon. That's that Pokey Float stage, which has those moving Pokemon characters. Which is actually, for some reason, the thumbnail of some of my videos. For some reason... Because I don't know how to make thumbnails, like in a YouTube studios and stuff, I don't have that, but maybe I'll get it one day, maybe when I get a PC or something. And for, for most of my thumbnails when I did Smash Bros. Melee, you know, for my thumbnails of Super Smash Bros. Melee All-Star Mode with certain characters, a lot of the thumbnails are me playing with a certain character, and I'm in the, the Pokey Float stage where it's got Squirtle, and, you know, we're standing on Squirtle and stuff. So it's pretty funny how a lot of the thumbnails for those videos are usually me being in the Pokey Float stage, and you know, battling all the rest of the Pokemon, and, you know, being on that s stage and stuff like that. You know what I mean. I, like, I looked back and I noticed, God, hey, how many of my videos have the thumbnail of me being on the Poke Float stage while I'm standing on Squirtle or something? <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. But never mind. How many hits did I get this time? Let's find out. And we got... How many hits? 128 hits. That's a good amount of hits, 28. 128. Oh yeah, I forgot about that move as well. For, for Mewtwo's down B, he can stun your opponent and make them dizzy like if they had their shield broken and you can get a good hit for a little bit. I do that every once in a while in Ultimate to get the free opportunity to hit him. That's pretty cool right there, absorbing Ness and then absorbing Mewtwo to charge up his his projectile attack. And we got the Mewtwo trophy. Awesome. Alright, that'll be it for today, guys. Only three more characters left to go before we complete All-Star in Super Smash Bros. Melee with all characters. Join me next time as we'll do Mr. Game & Watch next, but until then, excuse me, I'm gonna end it off right here, y'all. So that'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Dislike, give it a thumbs down. 
join me next time for the next video. To all your boys, men, and gals out there, boom, fist bumps go to all of you. To all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kisses go out to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.